Hello everybody, today I am back with another video and I had an idea in mind about filming a video about societies and things I do at uni and if you want to see that let me know but I realised that this time last year what I really wanted was some advice on choosing what university I wanted to go to so being it's like mid-February when I'm filming this and about this time is when most people are trying to make their decisions you're probably getting your last offers in maybe you had yours in before depending on what universities you've applied to um, but it's about the time that you are probably going to be choosing what uni you want to go to and so I thought I'd just tell you a bit about like the decision I had to make, what unis I chose between and um, why I made the decision I did and maybe that can help some of you guys um, when choosing where you want to go. So I applied to five places like most people do um, if you're applying through the UK system um, and I applied, you know, using UCAS and everything. And so when we went on the open days, the first open day I went to was Edinburgh and I really liked it. I felt like I'd found somewhere straight away that I absolutely loved. And I went round the whole day and I was getting so excited about, you know, going to um, uni and everything. And um, we get towards the end of the day and we go and talk to an, an admissions tutor and um, she notices that my dad is talking to me in Catalan and she's like oh where are you from and so he's like oh I'm from Spain and sort of explains and she said oh well then me being the first generation um, like of an EU resident like my dad only has his Spanish passport that meant that I am um, counted in Scotland for free tuition which was totally unexpected um, and it also then meant that the course which I wanted to apply for, which the entry requirements were um, AAB um, to ABB, then they automatically put them up to A star, A star, A, if you were applying um, as an EU student because the places were much more competitive, obviously, because they were free. And my predicted grades just weren't um, weren't there. So I still applied on the off chance that maybe I'd get dropped down to A star AA, which was my predicted grades. But that didn't happen. So that was my first thing. I, I They didn't reject me, though, until quite late on. And um, so I sort of had my heart set on Edinburgh, even though I kind of knew that I wasn't going to get accepted. And by the time it actually came round, um, it took them until March to get back to me. And so by that point, I had had all of my other offers since December. So I got my first offer was possibly Glasgow. I can double check actually. Um, have my old diary here from um, that, like around that time. So we, the first one I heard back from, mm -mm, was Glasgow, then Lancaster, and then Sussex. Um, and I was expecting to get a range of grade offers from them, but actually I got the same offer from all three of them. So I got heard back from them all in about late October early November and then I wasn't expecting to get accepted at Durham because of my subject profile applying for um, business at Durham but with only one facilitating subject um, and I'll make a video about facilitating subjects and what subjects you actually need to get onto different degrees because I thought that with my subject profile I'd be automatically like cut out of the running for coming to Durham but obviously that wasn't the case um so I had assumed they wouldn't accept me. Um, so I, I sort of thought, oh, well, I've got these three offers and they're the only three offers I'm going to get. But obviously you still, you have the constant feeling, and I'm sure a lot of you are going through this right now, of constantly refreshing UCAS track. Um, and if you're not applying this year and you're waiting until next year, basically 
you have to wait to get an email and you get um, an email and it says like UCAS track has a new notification and then you have to like go in and un like open your account and everything to actually find out what's happened and it tell gives you the same email whether you've been accepted, rejected, got conditions, whatever. Um, so you have no idea until you open it. So it was quite an intimidating email to get. Anyway, I wasn't expecting to get another one of these and in December... Um, I happened to get an email and I wasn't expecting it at all to get another one and I thought it was one of them rejecting me because I was like why would they have replied this early and I actually got my like my um, offer from Durham in December which I wasn't expecting at all because as I said I with my subject profile I wasn't expecting them to accept me and I probably should have known in that moment that I was going to choose Durham, but at that point it was mentally right at the bottom of my um, list of choices for a number of reasons that I'll explain in a moment. But when I got the offer from Durham, I was so excited and like running around my house in excitement. It was only my brother home and he had me like running to his room like, oh my God, guess what? Um, and that probably should have told me in that moment, but it took me a bit longer to decide. But at that point, I sort of... I really liked Lancaster because it was a smaller place, but also based on my um, academic profile, they wanted to offer me various scholarships and things. So obviously that was attractive. Glasgow, I didn't actually really like, but because of the whole, you know, I'd count as an EU national thing, it seemed appealing in that sense. But um, I just didn't like the course as much and they didn't do as much marketing specific stuff. Um but at first I was just telling myself that I had to go there because obviously, you know, of it being free and whatever. So that was a difficult decision to choose against that. Sussex, I absolutely loved, but from where I live, it's quite far. Um, and I sort of realised that I didn't want to be that far from home and being near to London, the house prices are quite high as well. Um, so I had that in mind. And... Um, and I hadn't really considered Durham very much until the post offer visit day. And if you're being offered like post offer days for anything, I would highly recommend going on it because honestly, that totally changed my opinion. And this was where I shifted from telling myself I've got to choose Glasgow because that's the free one to being like, well, first I went on the one for Lancaster and was like, actually, this course is so much more my thing. And it turns out the courses at Lancaster and Durham are very, very similar for um, marketing and management, which is what I'm doing. So um, I then went a couple of weeks later. I'd almost decided that I was going to go to Lancaster at that point. Um, still hadn't heard from Edinburgh, but by this point it was like mid to late February last year and so wasn't expecting... <laughs> like anything positive by that point sort of thing but um I was then um going on the post office visit day just because I hadn't had a great experience on the Durham open day because I got terrible hay fever and so my eyes were literally streaming and my whole face was puffed up the entire day and I was feeling so rubbish that I just hadn't really enjoyed the open day very much I mean, not that like open days can be really stressful but like I hadn't got much out of it at all so um I went on this post offer visit day and I came to St. Mary's because I got my offer from St. Mary's in early February and like the first round of college offers. Um, and I sort of just signed up for it because I was like, I didn't give Durham a good chance. I'm not going to choose it, but I'd like to give it a shot because that, you know, like it's Durham. It deserves that sort of thing. You know, like I need to give it a shot. So, um, and I came along and I came to St. Mary's and I sat down and the first person I talked to is going to be the head welfare officer this year and is honestly perfect for the role because literally the moment I sat down um, and started talking to her, she made me feel so comfortable at St. Mary's, which was something I wasn't expecting at all. And she was telling me all about all the things that are on offer um, and all of the things that they do in college. And she just got me so excited about like the Durham experience. And I was like, oh my God, this actually sounds like such a cool place. Um, and then, um, so, and I went round and with the post office visit day at Durham, it's really nice. You get to stay overnight for a night. And so in the afternoon, in the evening, you'll have loads of activities in the college that you've been allocated. Um, and then the next day you'll go on like a subject talk. And so I got to do that. And honestly, it was such a great experience and it totally transformed it. And so then I got back from that um, maybe a couple of days 
few days later, got the rejection um, from Edinburgh, which whilst it was kind of expected, it was still not a very nice email to receive, obviously. And so then it sort of hit me that I had to make the decision then. Um, and I made my decision fairly late on. I think most people had decided at that point. Um, and I just was like, Durham, Lancaster, Durham, Lancaster. And I had lists comparing like all the different modules and all a lot of the things that I loved about like each one they both had, they were both small places. They were both not too far from home. Um, they both had like the college system all of these things. And in the end, I think it was just a gut feeling that told me to choose Durham. Back when I was in year 10 and year 11, I'd come to visit Durham with my family because it was a Harry Potter film location at that point. But I'd seen the uni and the cathedral and the castle. And honestly, I'd fallen in love with it. And I think it was the fact that it was almost something I'd always wanted, but hadn't, hadn't really thought about like that in quite a long time, even though I had at that point. Um, and it just made me realize that I, I thought that was what was right for me. But not everyone has that, obviously. Not all of you will have, you know, my parents are in academia, so we looked at uni stuff quite early, but not everyone will have had that experience. But I think at the end of the day, you have to go for what feels right. And then maybe other factors indicating, like Lancaster was offering me some scholarship money, which obviously would have been really appealing. But at the end of the day, I just had this feeling that Durham was the place that was right for me. And I think you have to choose the place that you have a good feeling about. So that's a very long and random, like rambly version of my experiences with um, choosing, choosing Durham and how I came about to choose my course. But I feel like it's that time of the year and that's probably what everyone else is going through. And it, I just think it might be nice for you to hear someone else's experience with that, that has then gone on and made the choice and gone to uni. So I hope that can help any of you. And if you have any comments, um, just leave them below. I'll be replying to all of them. Um, I feel like everyone probably has quite a lot of questions at the moment with the time of year that it is. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you have any questions and um, if you want any other particular videos about uni. Um, just let me know. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you later guys. Bye.